The new MFDs in 3.24.2 are fantastic. While everyone does have their preferences and not anything is ever going to please everyone, overall the aesthetics are beautiful. However, a lot of things have changed though. It would be an impossibly long video to show you every single thing that has changed between all the different MFDs. There appears to be even some bespoke MFD options within manufacturers, like the Drake Cuddy Black. So the point of this video is to get your feet wet and to show you some of the foundational changes. I want you to get in and be successful and as little frustrated as possible. Real quick interruption to let you know that we are in the middle of a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Watch the video up above to know how to enter. Once we reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away an LTI Zeus MR. Don't miss out on your opportunity. And now back to the video. One of the important things to note is what mode you are currently in. Are you in navigation mode or are you in SCM mode? In a lot of the ships, it's gonna be on the left hand side next to the velocity meter. If I change modes now, you will see I will go from Nav Quantum to SCM Guns. And by default, middle mouse button will still swap you through the sub modes. Now we move to the velocity meter, which is now a horizontal bar. If I move forward, the digital readout will increase and the bar graph will move towards the right, representing forward movement. If you go in reverse, the bar will go to the left. Your boost, which actually are called afterburners in the game, will be on the right-hand side and they will be labeled aft. This bar will decrease as you use your boost. Right now I do not have an altimeter because I am in space, so I will show you that in a little bit. The multifunctional displays, or MFDs, are the bulk of the changes for the HUD. If I click through the options, you see that we have self-status, target status, scanning, configuration, communications, power management, weapon configuration, and shields. This configuration menu is very handy as it can modify a bunch of different things without the keybind. For example, auto enable precision mode. It is currently on. If we turn it off, it will eliminate the speed limiter for when your gears are down. If I lower my gears, and I move forward, you see that my speed is well over the limit of 30. If we turn precision mode back on, and then we move forward again, we are once again limited. There are keybinds for these still. This is a way for you to visually change it manually while in the pilot seat. Please note that there's also a different menu for when you're a gunner. Notice the fade pips and use lag pips option being there. Power management has fully changed as the power triangle is gone. You can scroll through to see all the different items of the ship that you can control and power. Keep in mind that certain options like the life support system are not fully functional in game yet. That will come with 4.0, barring any changes. Since we are in SCM mode, the quantum drive is inaccessible for us to manage the power. We still have 14 of 30 output that we can apply. My shields are on, but there is no power to them. But we will change that. And now my shields are charging. I will show you weapon configuration a little bit later as the pilot seat does not have any weapons in the Carrick. One of the quality of life additions that I want to show you is how to manipulate your MFDs without having to hold down F and use your mouse. If you hold down left alt and use WASD, W A S D, you can change which MFD you are targeting. W and S to go up and down, A and D to go left and right. Once you have landed on whatever MFD you choose, you can then use the Q as in Quebec and E as in Echo to change what that MFD is showing you. If you click the right mouse button once, you will go into precision targeting. This is a 22 times zoom view. If you hold down the right mouse button, you will zoom in 100 times. Tap again to get out of this view. If you just hold down the right mouse button all the way, you will immediately go to 100 times. And if you let go, you will return to normal view. You only have to tap to get out if you tap to get in. We have moved over to the Constellation Andromeda so I can show you how the weapons have changed in the new MFD format. 
But before I show you that, there has been an added little surprise for us Connie owners. While I have not been able to check in in each ship, it looks like the table has been put in. Hooray. The weapon systems no longer have main firing and secondary firing weapons. What we now have are weapon groupings, which you can control through the weapons MFD portal. On the weapons MFD, you have a list of all the weapons that your ship has. If I use the scroll wheel, you see that it's swapping between column one and column two. These columns are your weapon groups. If you want to modify them, you simply select what you want active and not active in your weapon group. If all your weapons are selected to fire, it will currently label it as guns all. If I move to the second weapons group where I modified it, it will name the weapons group Galdarin because those are the only weapons that are part of that group. And now only one and three will fire. As I started this video off with, there is a lot of changes and it would take way too long to go through them all. The last change I'm gonna discuss about in this video are the quantum markers. The icons are much better. A hollow circle represents a main planet, Hurston, Crusader, Arcorp, Microtech. A full circle represents a major destination like Pearl one or one of the moons. A hollow circle with a dot in the center are now your OM markers. It makes finding these so much nicer. Your satellites, your LEOs, etc., will have this oval with two lines on the opposite sides of each other. The main cities are pentagons, and other destinations on the planet that you could quantum to are upside down triangles. Outside of the quantum markers, quantum travel still remains the same as before. Is there something that I did not cover that you wish was included in this video? Leave a comment down below, and if there are enough suggestions, I will do a follow-up video to this one. We do have that thousand subscriber giveaway that's coming to an end. Like and subscribe to be notified of all future content. And I will see you adventurers in the next video. Bye-bye.